Hey folks, Casual Mick here. Today I'm bringing you a review of the Logitech G600 MMO Gaming Mouse. I've been using it now for 2-3 to three weeks, and it's working pretty good. There is really nothing I dislike about the product, except for maybe one thing that I'll get to later. Just for some background, and for you to know where I'm coming from, I transitioned from a Razer Naga Trinity to this, and to an extent I'm still trying to get used to it. The things I want to talk about are how the mouse feels, the functions, ease of use of the software, and price point. How the mouse feels. Compared to my Razer, the G600 feels heavier. In fact, it's 0 0.03 pounds or 13.6 grams heavier. Now I know that's not that big of a difference, and holding it side by side, it's hard to perceive. But where I can perceive the difference is when I'm using it. I think it's brought about by how the mouse lends itself to being held or gripped. Wherein the razor is slightly skinnier and that I can grip it with my thumb, ring, and pinky finger. And the G600 being thicker can only be gripped by my thumb and my pinky finger due to the design. The mouse glides pretty well. I initially had issues about how it felt. But I think that's just the adjustment period, and I do like it better now. It does help that you could easily fine tune the sensitivity through the downloadable software. Besides being smooth, I would describe it as stable. But the best thing about how it feels is the crispness of its buttons. I love how tactile it is. Now I'm not saying that this is better than the Razer, I'm just comparing a brand new mouse to a mouse that I've used for 5 years. Yes, it's still alive but rather beaten down. I wonder if this mouse will last as long. No complaints about the build quality. It has a nice matte finish and it feels robust. Functions. I have to admit, I haven't played around with all its functions, but the back and forward button pushing the wheel left and right is excellent. It is very useful for gaming and also windsurfing. It also makes it easy to switch between browser tabs with the G shift plus number keys. Speaking of the G shift button, the G600 doubles the amount of buttons by having the G shift. You can combine it to allow those primary buttons to have a secondary function. This is also the reason why it's much harder to grip. It's like one of those old mice with three buttons. Software is of use. The Logitech G Hub allows very detailed configuration of your mouse, from RGB to the actual function of each mouse button or its combination. It's also pretty intuitive and easy to use. You just have to really want to give it a shot. If you don't want to bother, then that's you, not the software. Price point. I purchased the mouse from Amazon when it was on sale. Now I'm not sure if you can call it a sale because every time I check, it's still on sale. If that's the case, then that's the regular price, no? I bought it for $49.98 Canadian. That's $39.20 US. I think this is one of the cheapest options you have for an MMO mouse. Now, the real test is how long will it last. Remember, my Razer lasted for 5 years. I'll be sure to update you if I manage to break it right away. Going back to that one thing that I dislike. Well, I'm not sure, but I seem to be noticing that the mouse is missing some of my left clicks. I'm not sure if it's user error due to me trying to adjust to it, or if there is something actually wrong with the mouse. It's not happening consistently, so I'm chucking it to user error for now. If it's an issue, then I'll probably make an update video at some point to let you guys know. At least in my experience, there's only two things that take away from my positive experience of this product. One is the potential left click issue that I've been experiencing. And two, this is a pretty thick mouse, and it does not lend itself to smaller hands. But having said that, with the price tag the G600 has, it's pretty hard to say no to it. I would still recommend the product, but with some caution. I give it 4 out of 5 stars because the positives still outweighs the negatives. I hope that you got what you're looking for in this video. This is Casual Mick. Until the next one.